positivism basically means that uh, you know that a person believes or the belief that knowledge is limited to observable facts and their interrelations it's it's really tied to naturalism focusing on only observable facts what we can see and that sciences again provide the only reliable knowledge um, the in theories can be proven based upon evidence it's all the same sort of idea and we can then have a complete understanding of reality empiricism assumes that the ultimate and true source of knowledge is experience or inductive reasoning from experience so focusing again on worldly matters without any supernatural intervention um, or cause and empiricism says that anything cannot be experienced through the senses or anything that cannot be experienced through the senses cannot be accepted as truth so if you accept that theory, basically you're saying that God does not exist. Sakhfarullah, which is an atheistic belief. Because you, has anyone seen God, Allah? Can you, can you prove through your senses that he exists? I mean, you, you may have seen miracles or, or these sorts of things. But we haven't actually seen him. The same as I said before about heaven and hell. We, we, have we seen heaven and hell? And according to this theory, if you, if you haven't seen those things, then they cannot be accepted as truth. So you already see the problem that we are having here in relation to the secular view. And some of you may be familiar with this already, but uh, just so you have a, a, a good understanding. In psychology, the field of psychology has tried in the last hundred years to make itself a science. It's actually grounded in philosophy, but it has struggled hard to become a science on the same level as other sciences, with, with large bodies of research being conducted in universities and various other centers and, and establishments. So I psychology fits within this idea of the secular view, primarily in, in the Western uh, perspective. Love.